The Lithuanian poet Eduardas Mazialidis uh, used to say we are Baltic and amber flows in our veins. The Amber Museum in Palanga is dedicated uh, to the most beloved stone of the Lithuanians. According to one of the tales, uh, which Amber is the tears of the sea goodness Eurata, punished by the powerful Turkunas for her love for simple fishing. Uh, the museum itself uh, is located in Palace, nearby we see a uh, resort park. Uh, I think in summertime <laughs> it looks like much more better. <laughs> uh, this is the central entrance, uh, ground floor, uh, basement floor, let's to say, like for wardrobe and toilets, and uh, we begin excursion from the first floor. So it's the beginning, the first hall is some kind of uh, expositions of amber or Finnish product, let's to say. Uh, since uh, the Neolithic period, uh, the extraction and trade of amber has played an important role in the economy of the Eastern Baltic. Uh, in the, even in the 17th century, amber workshops worked in Palanga. Uh, guides of the amber craftsmen were formed, uh, whose works were highly valued not only in the Baltic states, but also in the many European countries. By the end of the 19th century, Palanga became the center of the amber trade. And before the First World War, about uh, 2,000 kilograms of amber were processed of Palanga annually. Second hall uh, we see is dedicated to the amber-like raw material. And you see uh, when, it's, when it's origin or how the people usually... Uh, here was uh, sec uh, next hall. It's about insects inside of amber. <laughs> uh, do you remember well-known uh, movie uh, Jurassic Park? Uh, and do you remember where the scientists take blood of dinosaurs? Yes, in this insects uh, who were inside of amber. <laughs> and uh, you can learn or you can observe a lot of insects here. And who knows, maybe uh, inside of them really the pieces of blood of dinosaurs. This hall uh, is about amber, like uh, Finnish product. <laughs> uh, and uh, okay, mostly the amber was used ha has been used like decorations, uh, mostly women ones, but uh, also a lot of household items uh, like uh, chairs, uh, b uh, different boxes, or even you know this tractor. <laughs> <laughs> is also made absolutely from amber. <laughs> and by the way, the museum uh, was opened in 1963 and it's located now in 15 rooms and a total area about 750 square meters. And uh, as I said, uh, it's located in the um, uh, palace of uh, Tishkevich, well known Tishkevich, yes. And uh, the palace uh, was built in 1897, uh, not far away from the coast of the Baltic Sea. And the palace is located in a beautiful park designed by landscape architect Eduard André. The space on the first floor of the palace are replete with innovative historical interiors that tell about the life of the Count Tishkevich and his palace. The rooms with authentic furnishing are presented here. Uh, the next uh, halls, like the ceremonial hall, big hall, small hall, blue salon, red salon, and so on. So, uh, during uh, visiting this museum, uh, you will not only uh, study amber, like decoration, history of amber, but also there are some rooms of Palace, Tishkevich Palace.
The museum has two entrances, and this is central one. And uh, obviously a very nice view of landscape park, stairs. <clears throat> I'm sure that in spring, in summertime, it looks like much more <laughs> beautiful like in winter. But anyway, we have what we have. So Ember Museum, Palanga City.